Okay, so let's take a look at the snakes that we got in the clutch. Um, this one here is an albino cinnabee. And uh, I absolutely love the orange that are in these snakes. You know, it's pretty neat because, you know, the mom is an albino. So she's yellow and white. But these came out orange and white. And uh, this one here is just absolutely gorgeous. This one's a male. We ended up having two males, one female. The uh, sire to the clutch was a uh, Cinnabee Het Albino. So this is a homozygous form of that. And uh, we're gonna hold this one back. I love the dorsal pattern on these and the different shades of orange. It's just a beautiful snake. Absolutely gorgeous. And those eyes look like butterscotch candies. Yeah, so this one we'll keep back, and use it for future uh, projects. This one here is a normal 100% head albino. And I tell you what, the, um, the normals, uh, they still look so nice to me. They're so pretty. With all the morphs that are out there, I still really come back and, and you have to admire the, uh, the normals. They're still really pretty snakes. Look at that belly, gorgeous belly. They really are beautiful animals. Every one of the snakes, uh, we had eight total. Every single one of them has been puppy dog tamed right out of the egg. Uh, we've had them for a month now and um, not one of them has taken a strike at me. They've all been so sweet. So this here is a spider, and this is also going to be a holdback. I love, love that head. Look at that. I love the head pattern on this. So my daughter claimed this one. She loves my bumblebee, and she's been wanting a spider of her own, so she uh, chose this one. It's a cute spider. It's actually one of the best I've ever seen. And what's really, really cool about this spider is it looks like it has a web on its jaw, its lower jaw. Look at that. It looks like a spider's web. So that's really, really cool. Uh, so spider's very befitting to the snake. So she's keeping this. She's naming this one Spartan. And this is a female. And the lips are black on this one. It's really cool. When she was eating a meal and her mouth was open, Part of her mouth is also black. Uh, it looks really, really cool. She's a really neat looking spider. And uh, spider's one of my favorite genes. I, um, I just absolutely love the uh, effect that spider has on the dorsal part of the snake. It's just beautiful. Those, those black marks on it, it's, they're just beautiful. It looks like ink spilled on the back of a snake and it's just dripping down. But this one is a good eater. And half of the snakes have eaten, half of them have not. So I'm going to try some assist feeding today with the ones that haven't. But this one here has been a pretty good eater. So cute. They're so cute. And this is why they call them ball pythons right here. So this one here is an albino form of the spider. It's an albino spider. And this one had a little bit of paradoxing, real slight paradoxing. Right there's a mark. There's another faint one right there. And uh, another dark spot that she's, this one's got on, um, 
actually him. This is a male on his back right there. There's a little bit of paradoxing. The albino spiders are pretty cool because they're almost solid yellow. And I love yellow in a snake. It's one of my favorite colors to see in a snake. But I like spider albinos because it, they, it's a solid yellow snake with these white scratches on the dorsal. It's pretty cool. Then again, you got those butterscotch eyes. Beautiful eyes. And this one here is my absolute favorite from the clutch. Um, I don't know what it is about cinnamons. I just absolutely love cinnamons. They, they are so cute. And uh, this one here is pretty neat. Um, you'll, if you look, you'll see the words maw on the back by the tail. But I, I think cinnamons have some of the cutest faces. And I, I love the brown color in them. And there's that ma pattern again, M-A. This one uh, is our best eater. It's eaten four times uh, since it hatched. And, um, you know, she's, uh, she's going to... I'm holding her back. This one's going to be mine. I think cinnamon's such an underrated gene. But yeah, she's a cutie. So she'll be staying here with us. I love it when they periscope like that. It's so cute.